Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Ramsey Custom Shop. Just thought I'd make a little quick little video, show you just some of the stuff I've been working on lately. I know I haven't uh, put up too many videos. Um, it's just uh, been pretty busy with, uh, you know, just little projects and jobs and metal art and various things. Uh, you guys may remember seeing the lathe here a while back. Oh, and by the way, notice the water. We had a major uh, storm last night. You see the water out here. And um, normally when we get a, just a moderate, you know, and even a r relatively heavy rain, uh, I don't really get any water in the shop. There a little bit tries to land right here at the bottom of this roll-up door and creep in the corner because the concrete's higher here and it slopes in. Uh, but normally I stick a towel right there and it, and it blocks it. But it rained so hard and heavy for so long that I, it just wouldn't stop it. I mean, it, you know, crept in under here and you know rolled on out there and a few areas right here but you can see my gravel is you know it's up at the same level as the building so one of these days i'm gonna do something about that but a couple of times a year i get water in here like that uh for the most part it's not too big of a deal working on cutting out some metal art here for um this uh cabin the guy that runs a cabin or he's building three cabins for a hunt lodge i guess is what i'm trying to say and then I got a bunch of stainless steel tubing that I've been uh, cutting up. I just put a video up on that. Um, I can't really talk about this. You guys may remember seeing something about, the, about it last year. Um, but the little video I put up showing welding these. This is some Inconel. And um, Inconel 600 filler wire. And these are hole locations. And the, uh, the holes get drilled through the Inconel and the stainless. This is going into an industrial... Uh, let's say device that gets up to 3,000 degrees and that in canal uh, protects the hole it, the, when they just did it in stainless the hole would end up getting enlarged and the holes only uh, one set gets 60 thousandths hole and the other set gets 70 thousandths so it's a small hole and when the when the holes get opened up it affects the efficiency of the way the device works but anyway guys um, I was just waiting for that job to cut out thought I'd make you a quick video Here's one I just finished up on, and uh, I got to take it back, but you can see these, uh, you can see where I cut that apart right there. You can see these tubes got mangled up and bent. What this is is a truss jig for a um, for a, uh, one of those places that makes the portable buildings, you know, like you can buy for a couple thousand dollars. Home Depot sells them, you know, they're, they're everywhere around here. I'm sure you guys have them in your territory as well. But you can see the shape of it, you know, it's just a jig that gets trusses, uh, two by fours mounted in it. And then they've got hydraulic uh, presses that, that are at stations here that press the, the nail plates uh, onto it. So they ran over it with a forklift and bent it up. And um, this is a friend of mine. So I, I made him a new plate here and uh, put in some new tubes, cut those out. And um, you can see it's already flash rusted because it rained as soon as I put it out here but i told him i was putting it out here uh for him and man you can see still i got a mess i don't have any time to you know organize and clean up i just spend all of my time working and getting stuff done so um i got this uh customer that's uh really neat that is doing a um they're doing a build out in their basement and uh this is going to be uh, a sign for them and I got like three or four things to make with it uh, so by the way check this out pretty neat finish on this and if you're one of my paid members of the uh, metal art paint videos I'm going to be uploading a new video on this and you'll get a notification that this has been added so you can go check it out the details of how I created this and it's done with automotive you know paint and matte clear um, and if you're not a paid member, well, hey, go go uh, go check out the website RamseyCustoms.com. I've got uh, three, four videos on how to do the LED signs and all that, and that's going to go. This is going to be his uh, Marines uh, rank bar. You know the the patch you wear on your sleeve that's got the bars. I just haven't done the gold bars that go on that yet. But it's four layers. This goes on top of that, so the letters will show up in white. 
and then that gets mounted to this. But anyway, pretty big uh, project right there. That's one of about five total signs they're going to do in their build out. Um, so I was thankful to get in contact with them. They um, uh, they just found me on I don't remember uh, if it was eBay or YouTube or, or Facebook or or what. But um, anyway, guys, uh, I'm getting real close on having the new plasma table. Uh, it'll it should be here and be ready real soon. So uh, stay tuned for that, and this one will definitely be for sale. So um, lots going on, and uh, we'll be back and uh, give you an update later on. See you guys.